Hi there, I've been collecting loads of little parts, so today I'm going to build a solar farm for my LEGO city. For some time now I've been collecting these pieces and these are 1x4 dark blue tiles with a solar panel printing on them and you get these in loads of sets these days on buildings um, you get them on the street lights in the road plate sets um, but you get them generally in lots of different sets um, so whenever I've been placing a Bricklink order and I've seen some of these for sale I've been gathering them up and the plan to make a large solar farm and I finally now got around to uh, doing an actual design for the solar panels um, and I've got all the parts I need so I'm going to build my solar farm today. So this is something I have initially designed in my studio software. I had a play around with how many of those 1x4 tiles we were going to have in each of the individual solar panels. And then I also wanted quite a few of those large panels uh, joined together. Then I thought we should have some sort of control station um, where a worker can come along and check the output and those sorts of things. So it was initially designed in studio software, but now I've got all the bricks to build it in real life. So after playing in studio, I decided to use six of these 1x4s for each of the large panels. Um, I also uh, had a look at how the structure that holds these panels up, and most of LEGO hinge pieces are fairly big and chunky, and uh, the solar farms around uh, where I live, at least, are generally sitting on a small uh, sort of metal frame. Um, so I wanted something more uh, spindly, so I've got these small grey pieces we're going to build a frame to hold it up with. Um, not many pieces you need for one panel, only 16, so we're going to build one of those now. So first I'm attaching the six 1x4s to a 2x6 plate. And I've done that in black, so the outside frame of this is all going to be in black. So we've got our six panels there. And then underneath the 2x6 I'm going to attach a 1x6 across here. And then just fill in the gaps in the end with two 1x1s. So quick and easy, that is the basis of our solar panel. Then for the support structure, I've got these modified 1x2s with a bar attached to them. And now you can see why I've left that little gap there, so those bars can sit within it, like that. And then these bar pieces with their clips on the end, they can go on the end of each of the black bars, like that and one on the other end and then these modified one by one tiles with the little bar sticking out go in the bottom of the clips and then now we have our solar panel which we can angle sorry the other way it's got two little legs it can stand up on and we can angle that to whatever angle we want. So I've built the other eight and now I'm going to arrange them on a giant green base plate. So that's all nine panels built and placed on the base plate so now I'm going to build the little monitoring station at this corner. So first I'm just going to lay down a little tile base for it all to sit on so I'm using some dark grey 2x2 two two tiles. I'm going to put a jumper in the middle because I want it to be at an angle to the rest of the solar farm. And then a couple more 2x2s. Two two and then just to make it look nice and tidy, I've got some of these relatively new 2x2 um, two two triangles to go in the corners. So the main structure of this uh, control panel is just using these few pieces here. So we're going to start off by using two 1x3 plates, click those together, and then a 1x2 brick on top, and then the 1x1 next to it has got a stud on the side as well. And then lock those down with another 1x3 plate. Then we want to start putting studs on the front of this as well. So we've got this bracket piece, which is going to go on there like that and then a narrower one going next door to it and then we've got our studs brackets going down so now we want the same but going up so we've got that one there and a narrower one next door to it so for the front of the control panel i'm using these few pieces here and first on is this little keypad piece on a one by one gray tile and then next to it we've got some sort of dial which is um measuring, I don't know, maybe electrical output or something like that. And then down the side we've got a 1x1 plate, 1x1 tile, 
and another one by one plate. So just straighten those up and then the tile to smooth it off in the corner. And then I thought I'd put one of these telephone pieces here in case he needed to phone the uh, control room or something like that. Although nowadays most people would have mobile phones. I also imagined this uh, panel might open up in some way. So I have also got this piece, which is a sticker piece saying high voltage. Um, I can get this sticker off and place it onto that grey tile. But for now, I'm just going to pop it off and put the red tile on itself. And then later on, I'll get out the hairdryer and stick it onto the grey tile. And then the last few finishing pieces, um, we're going to turn it around and get this uh, one by two cheese slope and put that on the back there. And then we're going to put a one by one round plate, but with the hole in the stud there. And then put this three long bar in that stud. So it makes a little kind of aerial. So if something goes wrong, there's going to be now a warning light on top. We're going to put that orange tile on top of another one of those one by one studs and pop that on top. So if something's wrong with the station, this will flash and alert one of the workmen. And then just for the sake of it, I saw this nice macaroni type piece and that's gonna go on the edge like that. So I heated that piece up with a hairdryer and I've carefully peeled it off and I've relocated it onto our two by two gray tile. So that's now gonna be replaced here. And that looks a lot better now on a gray tile rather than on a dark red tile. So this little control maintenance station is going to sit on the jumper plate over here. And we can angle that now to the same angle as the solar panels. And then it looks like that uh, macaroni sort of pipe piece is going down into the ground somehow. So maybe the electricity is being fed up into here to be registered at how much electricity we're generating. I'm really pleased with how that control station has come out. It looks really good. Um, that high voltage sticker on top of the grey tile transferred really well onto the tile from the red one. And I really like the look of that little station I've built. So just to add a little finishing touch, we've got a Lego City workman here. He's got his spanner in his hand. The orange light has obviously been flashing away, so he's come down to do some maintenance on the um, solar farm. Um, we're also going to give him a little screwdriver there and a toolbox to carry. So there's our maintenance man finishing off our solar farm. So I'm really pleased the way this has turned out. I especially like the control panel we've made at this end. Um, I think nine panels was a nice amount to have. I'm very pleased with the uh, structure that they're sitting on. I didn't want large turntables to angle them and then large hinge plates to um, angle them up upwards as well. So I'm quite liking these little spindly legs that they're on. And of course it means you can adjust them up and down to whatever angle um, you want them at. I've had a look at uh, some solar farms near where I live, like I said earlier, and it does seem to be they sit at a specific angle. Um, I haven't done any research to find out if that is a specific angle to where you are on the planet, um, but this is the sort of angle they seem to be sitting at um, near my house where I live on the south coast. So let me know what you think in the comments. Any improvements you could think that I could make to this to make it uh, look a little bit better. Also, if you've liked this, please do give it a thumbs up and of course do subscribe for more LEGO videos.